Hey everyone, it's Duke here at Developer Inspirebus. Welcome to the Auto Layout course. Today in this video, I want to introduce you to Auto Layout, and here's the agenda for this. We want to introduce you to Auto Layout. I want to show you some of the problems that you are writing apps for iPhone, iPad, in other words, the iOS devices. So we have the problem, and I will offer you a solution with Auto Layout. And we'll introduce you to some of the terminologies in Auto Layout. Okay. After this slide, we'll have a demo, and this demo will go over to Xcode, write, a, um, work on an app on a storyboard, and then we will apply all the things that we will learn in this video into this app. Okay. So a lot of you may not have been following my work at Developer Inspires. You know that I am not a big fan, a big fan of uh, slides and keynotes. But in this case, I think that slides work best. Okay, and we will have some crazy uh, music in the background, so that's cool. All right, so let's have an introduction to auto layout. Now, what is the problem here? The problem is as the years go by. Uh, iPhone has more generations with four, five, five S, six, six plus. Each of these generations have different screen size, and who knows about the future, right? And not to mention that we have tons of iPad Air and iPad Mini out over here, over there, and some have rumor that they have the 12 inch iPad. Okay, and now even now on the iPad Air. Or yeah, iPad Air. They can have the split screens, meaning that you can have two windows on the on the same iPad Air. You can run two apps at the same time for iOS 9. Okay, if you don't know that, then check out the iOS 9. So auto layout is a way that for this problem, you want to write an app that fits every screen size, that can works on every screen size. And because you don't want to ship an app that you have been working on for months or for years, and you can just run on iPhone 6 or iPhone 6 Plus, so you miss out all the kinds of devices out there. Okay, so you want to run on every device. That's why we have auto layout. So now, why do we want to use auto layout, and why do these um, different screen size are our problem? Let's say I want to have this iPhone. And this iPhone, maybe it is an iPhone 5 or maybe an iPhone 6. And in this iPhone, in this app I'm working on, I just have a view. I just have a block, okay, and this blue view. Now for this one, I tell Xcode that I want this block to be right in the center of the view. I want this block, okay, Xcode, let me put this block right in the center of the view. Okay, so when I run this on the simulator or on the iPhone 5 device, this works perfectly. It is right in the center of the device. But the problem rises when we run on an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, a bigger screen. So this, this block, this view, it is not in the center anymore because Xcode doesn't know that it is really in center. We want it in the center, but we doesn't tell Xcode literally in program or in some other ways that this block has to be in the center. So auto layout is a way that we can tell Xcode, we can tell iOS that put this one in the center. Or in other cases, we will have different relations or different rules. Okay, these are this word is really important. Different rules for this view in the screen. Okay? So what is auto layout? Auto layout specify constraints as rules. So we will use constraints as the rules for the elements in the view. And in most of the case, we'll use the super view as our anchor view, or some view that is not ambiguous, but we will talk about that later, okay? And so our point is we want to, our app to look good on every screen size, so that we have great user experience, we can run on every uh, eye device over there, it is scalable, meaning that even if Apple introduced new device, even if Apple introduced new feature like the split screen in iPad, if we use auto layout and later on there will be a course uh, for you to attend, which is the side class. Side class is um, not to go to that, but it is it is also a way that you can run on different this device. Okay, so your app will be scalable. You can scale it, you can scale it down, scale it up. Okay. So now, 
all of these Autolia things, it seems to come to this constraints. What are those constraints? And why do we want to use these constraints? Now let's talk about those constraints. Constraints are just mathematical equations. We don't want to go really deep into this mathematical mathematics things. And luckily we don't have to go into this math. Okay. So the constraint tells the information about the, the position and the size of a view. This is a really important constraints has to tell Xcode has to tell uh, iOS the information about the position and the size of a view. The constraints are the rules that describe this layout. It will be added to a view or will be added to between different views. Okay, we will talk about that. And the constraints in order to have a constraint that works, that works on every screen size that looks the UI looks good, we must have an ambiguous constraints. Okay, we must have an ambiguous constraints. So what is this ambiguous constraints? How, how do we know that this is ambiguous, unambiguous, I'm sorry. So we must have unambiguous constraint. And how do we know that this is unambiguous constraint? So let's talk about that. Let's say I have this iPhone. It can be any iPhone, right? And this iPhone has a coordinate system. We have the X coordinate X axis. We have the Y axis. Okay. And for this, I want, let's introduce um, a view, the, our blue view or green view that we just have. Okay. So how do we know that we want, we know that we want to add some constraints or we want to apply auto layout, right? So in auto layout world, um, when you say that you want to apply auto layout or you want to use auto layout, it simply means that you want to add some constraints into this view or some other UI. It can be a button, it can be a label, it can be a slider or anything, right? So now we want to add some constraints into this view, into this element. And how do we know that um, what information we have to give auto layout or we have to give iOS so that it is unambiguous, so that this view has unambiguous constraints? Well, they are actually very simple. There are only four pieces of information we will have to give auto layouts. The first one is the X position of this view. The second one is the Y position. The third is the width and the last is the height. So having from that, we want to have the X, the Y and the width and the height of this view added to iOS so that iOS knows that well, on the screen, what is the X, what is the width, X and Y, what is the width and height. Then we will have an unambiguous constraint. Now, let me show you one of the way that uh, we can add this one so that we have this, this guy right in the screen every time we have it, okay? So let's say, in this case, we know that the super view of this view controller or this phone is fixed. It is always that size, right? So we will use, let's use that super view as the anchor view. Okay, the anchor view, which is the thing that we will use depends on that and apply auto layout on every, uh, uh, from other elements to this view. Okay, so from this anchor view, I'm sorry, from this green view, we want from the top of the green view to the super view is 200 points. From the left of the green view to the, to the uh, super view is 75 points. So that's why we have the X and the Y, right? So the two from the top to the super view is 200 points. From the left to the right, uh, to, from the left of the green view to the super view is 75 points. So we have the X position and the Y position. And then we want to tell auto layout that we want the width of this block is 200 points. And we'll tell auto layout that the height of this is 180 points. All right, good. So we have the X, the Y, the width and height, just that, right? And then we'll have an unambiguous constraint. And I will show you how to add these constraints into out, uh, how to use auto layout in the coming demo. All right, cool. To recap, in order to have an unambiguous constraint, we will have to tell auto layout the X position, the Y position, the width and the height 
of a view or uh, UI elements. And this one, these constraints has to be anchored to a view that is unambiguous. For example, the super view is always unambiguous. Okay, because the super view is, we only have one super view. No, I mean, um, the super view in this case is the main view, right? The, all, the, the root view of this view controller, all right? Okay, so that's that for an introduction to auto layout. And it's very, just scratch the surface. Now I want to show you some of the terminologies that we want to use in auto layout. For, so for the terminologies, we'll have the top space. The top space is the space from the top goes down to the neighbor uh, view. Also, we have the bottom space, which is, which is just from the bottom goes up. We have the leading space and the trailing space. The leading space is from the left and the trailing space is on the right. Now, some may ask, why do we want to, why do we have to use leading space and trailing spaces? Why do you, why don't we just use left and right? Well, this has to depend on the localization or the language, the current language runs on the phone. Because as you may know that a lot of languages is written from left to right, like English, like Fr French, right? But um, things like Chinese or I think uh, Persian or something, it is written from right to left. So that's why the leading space and the trailing space, they call it. So in the case of Chinese, right written from the right to left then the leading space will be the right and the trailing space will be the left okay and we also have the top layout guide and the bottom layout guide what are those the top layout and the bottom layout guide is just a virtual line in the iOS system at this lines it is flexible so for a normal view controller this layout guide will be right under the status bar, it is 20 points from the top to uh, from the top of this uh, of the super view. Okay, but let's say we want to have a UI navigation controller. We have a navigation bar. Then automatically, this top layout guy it will move down 64 points. So this this is top layout guy will be a great anchor point for us when later on we will specify auto layouts on this. And in, with the bottom layout guy, it is works for the bottom bar, okay? For, for the, our navigation, uh, for the um, item bar, all right? So that's just that for the terminology. We have the top space, bottom space, leading space, gelling space, top and bottom layout guys, all right? So just that, and now let's head over Xcode and then we'll have a little demo about introduction to auto layout. Hey guys, is the, did you like this tutorial? If you did, you can do two things now to continue your journey. First, you can subscribe to my channel right here, which I hope you will, so that I can continue sending you more tutorials on a weekly basis. And second, you can join Developers Academy today, start learning iOS development, and get your first two weeks free by clicking the link on the screen right now. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.